Hello everyone, my name is Bahit Aubakirva, I'm your instructor on surveying course. And my name is Eldar, and I'm laboratory assistant of civil engineering department. Today we will perform laboratory work number one on leveling. Okay, now let me introduce the materials that we use for this lab. There are basically four of them. The automatic leveling itself, the tripod on which it sits, and the staff to take reading, and the tape to measure the distance. Before we start the lab session, let me introduce some definitions and our plan of the work. We are going to measure elevation changes across Nazarbayev University. So here we have a benchmark point. And benchmark is a relatively permanent point of known elevation. Our goal is to find the elevation on this point, which will be our new benchmark point when we will finish the lab. So, Firstly, our leveling staff is placed on benchmark with known elevation and this will be our starting station and first backside. And backside is known as measurement that is taken at known point. Then we will place our equipment in some distance and take our measurement. After that we move to the first turning point. Turning point is a point temporarily located and marked in order to establish the elevation. In the turning point 1, we place the staff. Then we will measure our first foresight. Foresight is a site taken on any point to determine its elevation. And we move the equipment to the next point to measure backside of the turning point 1. After that, the staff place on the next turning point and we measure foresight and move equipment to the next point to measure backside of the turning point 2. And finally, the staff will be placed on the point where we wanted to find the elevation to our new benchmark point. And so we will measure its foresight. Ok, without further ado, let's start. In Nazarbayev University we have 8 benchmark points and we are going to this one to benchmark point 7. Ok, here you can see our benchmark point. Our equipment is placed in distance 12 meters from that point. And now we will demonstrate the setup of the level. First, Eldar is going to place the tripod. So, he extends the tripod legs. And locked. The tripod legs have to be placed firmly in the ground. Then we remove the leveling instrument from its case and place on the top of the tripod and it is fixed by screw from underneath. Ok, for this lab we use Leica level NA720. So here its features. We have the telescope which contains the objective and the eyepiece which we view through. Then we have focusing knob to bring our target into a focus. And in this side of the equipment we have a level mirror which allows us to view neural drink and make sure that our bubble is always in the center. Now it's not and I will set up in a minute. And also we have endless drive, probably you've noticed it in other side. And it allows us to move our objective from right to left or from left to right. Ok, now we'll set up the bubble. So, we turn the leveling screws both in or out 
until the bubble is in the middle of the circle. The equipment should be set up at your eye height, so you should not bend over or straight up. Do not place any pressure and don't put your weight on equipment or tripod. Ok, let's move to the stuff. The stuff is graduated in E pattern. So, if we place measuring tape, for example here, you can see it's 1 meter and each block, black or red, is equal for 10 millimeter. And when you extending out, it is clipped in here at the back. Ok, to have accurate results, the leveling stuff should be used properly. Firstly, Hold the stuff in straight vertical position. Do not hold the stuff like this. When you hold the stuff, take your hands clear of the place of the stuff, so all patterns can be seen. And please, do not hold the leveling stuff like this. Ok, now we start. Eldar is standing on benchmark and our first backside point. And I will look through telescope to the staff and my reading is 1.13 meter. So in the staff my reading is here. Well, now Ildar moves to the turning point 1. And I will measure foresight. Now, when measurement of these points are completed, I carefully move leveling equipment in the case for transportation to the next measurement point. So, now measurement of backside in turning point 1 will be taken. Next, Eldar moves to the turning point 2. And I will take measurement of foresight in this turning point. So, we repeat the procedure and I move to the next measurement point. And now the backside of turning point 2 was measured. So great, we almost finished. Eldar moves to the last point, which will be our new benchmark. And the reading is 1.39 meter. Ok, we finished. However, to make sure that our results is accurate, we repeat all procedures backwards. Ok, let's do it! So, we completed our lab work and here measurements that have been taken while moving backwards. Ok, now about the calculation of elevation. To do it, we use simple equation that is shown on the screen. For example, to calculate elevation of turning point 1, 
the backside is added to already known elevation of the benchmark and then foresight in turning point 1 is subtracted from that sum. So, if we put it in our measurements, we can see that elevation of turning point 1 is 319.1946 meter. So, here final results on elevation calculation. And now, in your lab report, you should calculate reduced level by rise and fall methods with the measurements that were given for your group. Okay, our laboratory work is finished. I hope you watch this video very carefully. Otherwise, you shall not pass. Goodbye. See you next time.